this my studio you are looking at right now is actually fake this was what my background looked like originally just a plain wall with nothing behind me nothing around me but today i will show you guys how you can transform your plain boring background from this into a professional looking youtube studio like this or this or even this so stay tuned because you're gonna learn how i was able to achieve this the good thing with this type of studio transformation is that you don't need to suffer from glitches which usually happens when you remove your background entirely because some people have actually complained that when they remove their background entirely they can't like raise their hand up to demonstrate something or they can't shake their head or move their body because there will be glitches all around since the background behind them is entirely removed and entirely fake but in today's video you will see that your background your real background will actually still be there there won't be glitches you are just adding some things to your background and i will explain to you guys how you can do this using some simple ai tools and this is actually very easy to do now for you to achieve this type of background there are some simple rules you have to follow one is that your wall has to be plain and it also has to be neat so that when you eventually introduce the things you want to introduce to your studio it can easily blend in and two when filming your video don't move your hand too much to this side because your hand will disappear just like you can see here right now <laughs> yes your hand will magically disappear and you get to see why your hand is disappearing as we proceed in this video and then thirdly you have to maintain a good distance between you and your original background behind you and you and the camera in front of you so don't be too close to your wall behind and don't be too far away from the wall or too close to your camera maintain a good distance between you and the original background and you and the camera so that when you change your background it can also easily blend in and then you also have to make sure that you have good lighting you can use your tripod stand or you can use the natural light from the sun by filming your video close to your window now let's go to the steps to follow to be able to achieve this step one is to record your video and when recording your video ensure that you use a tripod stand so that your camera will be steady or your phone will be steady because if your camera is shaking when you are recording it can affect the final outcome and you don't want that and then step two is to import your video into CapCut and do all your basic editing you can do all your cutting and joining in CapCut and when you are done with all your basic editing you can take a screenshot from your edited video but when editing your video don't add any text because if you add text after removing the background and replacing it it will affect the text so if you want to add any text to your videos you have to wait till when you are done with the removal of the background you can now add any text you want to add so take a screenshot of yourself from the edited video and then crop it when cropping ensure to leave small space at the bottom of the cropped video so that it will allow some space for the watermark because the ai app we'll be using has a watermark in it now we are gradually getting closer to the interesting part which is the ai tool we'll be using to generate our studio background now go to google and type in firefly.adobe.com it will open up this page this is an ai tool that allows you to do some interesting things like converting text to image generate fields generate a template a vector and so on and so forth but we'll be using the generative field for this video so click on generative field on this generate here under this generative field it will bring you to this page then click on upload image and come to your gallery to import the screenshot you saved earlier then once your image is here click on insert then come to add and use the brush to select the edges of your image where you want to add the studio stuff don't select it too close to yourself so you'd have space to move your hands and your head and so that you can also have the best possible results if you make any mistake by selecting any part you don't want to select just click on subtract here and it will correct it after selecting your edges come to this place where you see prompts and type what you want to see at the edges once you type that click on generate and it will generate three different images for you to choose from as you can see here then choose the image you like best click on keep over here and come to this place click on download to download your image 
If you don't like any of the three images generated for you, you can still delete it and type in another prompt that you like for it to generate more images for you until you get the image you really like, then you can keep the image, download it and use it for your background. When typing what you want to see at the edges, Try your best to make it clear and specific so that it can generate images you really like. The first prompt I gave it, it gave me images I didn't really like because the prompt I gave was that it should give me a colored background with some frames on the wall and should make the background look like a studio with some flower vases. And it generated these three images for me. The first one, the color didn't match my original background. The second image, I didn't really like it. Same with this third image. And I ended up discarding the three images and I wasn't able to use any of them. So I gave it a second prompt that was now more specific and it gave me better images. And what I typed this time was that it should add a shelf to the background with a lamp, a table lamp and a flower vase and some flowers. And it generated three images that I really liked. And when putting your prompt, try to add that it should make it look natural so that the shadows would also show in the images. That was what I prompted this time around and it gave me these images that I really liked and I was able to use them in this video. Now, after downloading your image, you will see that your image would have a watermark. So to remove this watermark, you'd have to crop it out. The next step would be to come back to CapCut, where you have your already edited video. Now, you'd have to import the background you just generated by clicking on this side in your CapCut or any video editing app you are using, and then it will import as part of your video. The next thing to do is to make your original video an overlay by clicking here in CapCut. And then your main video becomes your overlay, then drag your main video to the end, and drag the background you just generated over your main video until it becomes the same length with your main video. And when you are done with that, you will discover that your video is actually covering the background. But don't worry, we will soon get there. Now look for mask if you are using CapCut. This sign here, click on it, select a rectangle. You can see the background is showing now. Then adjust it. And after that, come down to the mask again and click on it again to also adjust it. Click on this feather here, put it at 5 so that your video can blend in well with the background. And then that is all, your video is ready. And that is how I was able to transform my plain boring background into a professional YouTube studio. And you can edit your video or do this with any video editing app that you use. It mustn't necessarily be CapCut. So let me know if you are going to be trying out this in the comment section. If you have anything you are not clear about or you are confused about and need some clarifications on, feel free to drop the question in the comment section. I will reply your question and I will give you some clarifications. Don't forget to like my video, share it with someone that will find this helpful as well. Check out one of these videos I have on my screen here. I'm sure you'd find one of them helpful as well. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. See you in my next video. Bye.